And this cold winter morning in Manly, in the middle of a COVID lockdown, I thought it was a good time to remind ourselves about optimism. Not happy, happy, joy, joy, fake optimism, but genuine optimism based on how you answer three primary questions. Now these questions were based on the great work done by Martin Seligman in positive psychology. And question number one is, how long will it last? How long will this lockdown last? How long will this winter last? How long will these bad times last? And optimists look at the shortest possible time frames for things lasting, not unrealistically, but realistically. In your mind, what's the shortest time frame this could last? Answer as short as possible. Now, question number two is what else gets affected? Now, it's easy during a lockdown like this to let it affect everything, let one health issue affect everything possible and catastrophize. But optimists try and limit the impact of things to what is actually happening and attempt to make the rest of their lives even better and even stronger. Now, question number three is my favorite, which is who is in control? Now, it's easy during a catastrophe like this, a, a global lockdown, if you like, that there's other things controlling us. But ultimately, we've been reminded by great thinkers like Viktor Frankl and Nelson Mandela that our ultimate freedom is how we think. So question number three gets us to focus on how we're thinking, reminding us that our thoughts are choices. So amplify the positive thoughts, the ones that are useful to those around you and to yourself and to diminish the thoughts that are less useful. Obviously you do this realistically, but it's amazing how great you feel when you realize no matter what happens in the world around me, no matter what they do, who's doing it, what they're doing, you've got complete control over how you think and what you focus on. And that's question number three. So what does the science say, the sort of benefits you get from thinking this way? Well, you're a lot healthier, you're a lot happier, you have better, more effective relationships, and you're lucky to be a more successful business person, particularly if you're in a sales environment. So that's just some of the reasons to think optimistically. Now, lots of folks say, well, surely I'm an optimist or a pessimist. I was just born that way. But in fact, how you think like this is acquired. Seligman called it your explanatory style or how you explain things to yourself. And you acquired this, you learn this from people around you as you grew up. And just as you learned it, you can unlearn it and relearn it to a more positive, optimistic way of thinking. And it is a challenge, but it's well worth taking. So there you have it, folks. The three questions to ask if you'd like to be an optimist. How long will it last? What else gets affected? And who's in control? Look at the shortest possible time frames that are realistic. Try and limit the impacts as much as possible. And always remember, you are in control of how you think.